what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to all the new subscribers the channel's been really growing a lot lately and that is awesome so glad you guys are here been having a lot of fun talking with you guys in the comments so today is probably going to be a bit more of a random video we're gonna just going to be working in the garage on all sorts of different stuff first of all we're going to be doing some ac work on the corvette putting a new ac compressor so the boys are starting that right now definitely have some more me out of videos on the way got a few different ideas that i want to do that i'm still working on so stay tuned for those also let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see specifically so yeah this is probably just gonna be like a bit of an update video me i was just chilling right now not gonna tear this apart just yet i have my other car in the back still apart i can show you guys that in just a second i don't think i've talked about it too much on this channel yet but something i do want to do soon is i have this gv finish panel you can see i've already kind of started repairing it i need to finish this and get it painted and put on the car this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just bite the bullet and get it done. So maybe look for a video on repairing and painting this coming soon. So this here is the reason why I have not torn down the Miata just yet. I've had this car for about nine years, and as you can see, just recently shaved the bay, did a five-speed swap, and a bunch of stuff. So currently working on fixing the wire tuck right now to get this thing running again. I don't want to have two cars down at the same time, so I want to get this going again first. So while we're working down here today, may go ahead and jack this thing back up so I can start working on getting that part swap back out also last night we worked on my roommate eric's turbocharged civic installing the ac compressor so we're doing a lot of ac around here recently and we did actually film that last night so i'm gonna go ahead and roll that footage for you guys that have been following along with this build and then we will pick back up with today's activities on the corvette so it has been quite some time since we've done anything with the civic you've seen the videos of it driving all that it's all good but now it is back apart why is it back apart well ac because it's getting hot in georgia and uh about that time about that time yeah <laughs> yep so eric actually has the go auto works ac compatible turbo kit so he's finally getting around to putting his ac back in got a brand new condenser and fan ac compressor is already installed right yes well partially this is what we're working with i'm sure you might maybe you've seen this before but like just imagine this in here i mean and then uh, here's the blanket we did get a blanket because we are going to be resting up against this so we got the blanket installed. Um, the lines are really close, so that's gonna have some fire sleeving. But, I mean, this is literally sitting right here once it's all said and done, and it actually pushes against that. So, room is really tight. Yeah, so like you just said, all the clearance with the AC parts and the turbo and everything in there is extremely tight. I'll show you that once all the parts are in. So, like Alex has already mentioned, this is Greg's Go Auto Works kit. Um, it's AC compatible version. If you haven't heard of Greg, go check him out. GoAutoWorks.com, I believe. So, what I've done so far, so none of the AC components were installed. So that means these lines had to be taken apart. Um, you can see the tiny one here. The large line goes underneath the radiator, which, I mean, there's not a lot of room. Like, it's pretty much touching everything it can. I can, of course, bend these out of the way a little bit, but we'll do that at the end. And they come up through against the firewall, under the intake, and behind the battery, actually, to remove the battery to install them. So that was all finished. AC condenser, or compressor, sorry, is installed. Um, this is a really tight fit, just because of the downpipe. And I mean, like I said, Greg knows what he's doing, so go order from him, and everything will fit. <laughs> Because without this kit, I don't know if you'd be able to really do this customly. It, it would be a lot, of, a lot more work. Condenser is new because it looked really, really gross. Um, I also got, um, also from Greg from Go Auto Works, his Inconel uh, <laughs> metal studs along with his copper lock washers. Obviously, everything's not tightened yet just because it's for fitting purposes. But basically, this will help with, you know, a lot of the turbo people, they'll, the experience, a lot of issues where their hardware actually loosens up. And I was fine. I mean, after two or three drives, I mean, I was ripping on it, I will say, but like I would have to come in here and do like quarter or half turns to tighten everything back up, and that's just a pain in the ass. So, Inconel studs with copper lock nut washers. Um, a while ago, I got the Stage 8 hardware for the manifold to turbo because that's, that's what comes loose the most, I've read. Also got a couple new parts for the interior of the Corvette. I might go ahead and start working on this window switch while they're doing that. Yep. 
right, so while the boys are finishing up, I'm about to run to O'Reilly's real quick and get a new thermostat gasket so we can put that thermostat back on. All right, well, we thought we got the right gasket for the thermostat. Turns out we got the gasket that's actually for the thermostat itself and we need the one that's for the housing. So Cole went out to try and locate one of those, but it doesn't look like you can get it without buying the whole housing, which don't make any sense to me. But so now we're just waiting for him to get back and we're going to slap some gasket maker on it and just make one ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so we just learned that we need to wait 24 hours before we put coolant back in this thing, so that's going to be it on the Corvette for today. That is as far as we can go. Probably need to plug it in first, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just did some clay bar mitt, because <clears throat> honestly, too lazy to actually clay bar. <laughs> and we wanted to try this out because we've never used them before. Yeah, it's crazy how much smoother it made this. Yeah, it, it definitely helped. It's absolutely much smoother. We didn't mean to polish this thing anyways to see if we could get the paint any better, so we're just gonna test this little spot and see what we can do. Yep. Yeah, those water spots are so bad. Yeah. I'm surprised the water spots are still that like aggressive. <laughs> Looks better though. It's way better than that. <clears throat> Alright, well that was a fun little experiment. We always kind of wanted to mess with polishing on this thing, but honestly I, I think this paint is just so, there's so much stuff etched into it, I don't think it's all ever going to come out. Like I've even wet sanded a spot before and it's still, you can still see all the swirls and just stuff that's etched into the paint. It definitely made a difference, like you could see the before and after we did there with the tape. Like it looks a lot shinier and blacker, but all the scratches and stuff are still in there. Maybe we'll paint it one day. Let's see, what else, what else? We just recently learned that we can actually fit a Miata in this side area of our garage using these dollies. So this is actually pretty nice how this works out. I'll probably end up putting my car back here whenever I decide to pull the motor and refresh all the seals and do the maintenance and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, stay tuned for some more Miata videos. I wanna try and get that GV finish panel done soon. I've always liked the look of those, so I'm excited to try and get that done and get it on the car. But for now, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah.